Hey, Shalom, man. Shalom. One of the souls, but give no praise to Yahweh, Pa Hashem, Yahweh, Shabba, Hashem, and Kadash, the Balonis, the Apostles, the Great Most on and honors you, brothers, doing the work of the Most on Truth and in sincerity. Yahweh, that's the real name of whom the world ignorantly calls God, Jehovah, Yahweh, his real name is Yahweh, and his son's true name is Yahweh Shai. And when we pray, we pray Yahweh, Pa Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba meaning in, Ha meaning the, and Sham meaning name, so Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai. This is a quick one. This is um, upcoming Beaver Moon Eclipse, longest of its kind since 1440. Right now, obviously, you know, this thing of ours, you know, that, you know, that's a special number, right? A number that makes us go, hmm. Right. But then also another thing is what is the, the, the fact that it's been such a long time as well, because you've been we've been seeing this more and more and more in recent years of, you know, events that have um you know, celestial events have not happened in, you know, hundreds of years, okay, you know, you think about the alignment that happened at the beginning of this year, that was like in longest, in it. so that was the first time that had happened, I think in like 800 years or something like that, okay, all of these are signs of of the Lord basically coming back, okay, Um. so I just got a few precepts, this is, um, uh, uh, Genesis 1 14 says the most I said let there be lights in the firmament of heaven right to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years right so when you know when the um you know when the powers basically would you know when the angels were well, basically putting together you know the, the different celestial bodies right they basically set them up to um uh, fulfill certain roles okay and one of them was to basically be there for signs okay um and you have an example of this with um uh, i believe in First Chronicle, First Chronicles twelve or thirty two says and of the children of Issachar which were men that had the understanding of the times Right to know what Israel ought to do. The heads of them were two hundred, and all their brethren were at their commandment. And how were did they were they able to do this by you know being able to look up, you know, to uh, the, the the stars? Okay, so you get an understanding of the times by looking the stars of heaven. Right, and Issachar was uh, able to do that pretty well. Right. Um. So uh, read a little bit of this. Uh, it says, um, and it, I'll read from the second paragraph. It says an impressive partial lunar eclipse will plunge ninety-seven percent of the moon into darkness on, on, on the night of, of uh, November eighteenth. It's the early hours of uh, November nineteenth over North America. It will also be visible from Australia, New Zealand, East and Asian parts of South America. This will be the longest partial lunar eclipse since fourteen forty, right? But it's not the longest lunar eclipse in recent history, right? So you see, once again, you've had something in recent history as well that was, you know, even longer than that, right? But this is very much the longest of its particular, you know, of this type of uh, a lunar eclipse. Okay. Um, yes, a lunar eclipse happened. Uh, it goes into some other stuff as well. Um, yeah, which you can read. Yeah. But that's it, you know, these, these are signs of the times, but signs that, you know, the Lord is basically getting, you know, uh, ready to start doing things, okay? We, you know, we can't be ignorant of these things, right? And people know, oh, yeah, these things happen all the time. Yeah, okay, cool, this is true, right? But the frequency in which they're happening, and then you couple that with all the other prophecies as well, you know, that are happening, right? Hey, we're able to be like, yo, hey, it, it's almost home time, Okay. This is Joel 2.31, right? It says, The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of Yahweh come. And once again, you've been seeing blood moons. You've been seeing, um, you know, well, I think what the, there was a there was one at the beginning of this year as well, I think, or the end of last year, which was, um, you know, had some long, crazy ass name, like blood wolf moon or blood wolf super moon, something crazy like that, Okay. You know, uh, once again, a sign of the times, right? And I think I just got the last one here. This is Sirach 43 and 6. He made the moon also to serve in a season for a declaration of times and the sign of the world, right? 
He says, for the world, the moon is the sign of feast, a light that decreases in her perfection. The month is called after her name, literally the same uh, moon month, uh, Luna Luna in Romanian, uh, Dal, Tal in Korean, I think. I forgot. Um, but yeah, the word for month and moon, identical, right? It says, um, increasingly wonderful in her changing, being an instrument of the armies above, shining in the firmament of heaven. Right, so you know a few precepts there, you know, proving that the you know the the the, the sun, the stars, the moon, um, you know, all are signs of times, right, and seasons, right, and a hey, we're we're in the season of um, well, you know, of 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 this man going down. So just a quick one, um, you see the upcoming beaver moon eclipse, longest of its kind since fourteen forty, um, and yeah, so to the next time we say shalom.